is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some pretty cool stuff going on here on the channel today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be breaking down the similarities and differences between the mattel wwe elite action figures that we love and the brand new announced wicked cool toys and jazzwares aew unrivaled collection figures that are coming by the end of this year i think it's going to be like quarter two of this year which is around the july august mark and i'm excited for them man we've taken a look at them here on the channel multiple times and today we're really just gonna you know break down both series take a closer look at both of them side by side obviously we don't have them in hand just yet but this is a good precursor until we get the figures in hand and we are going to look at the you know the pros and the cons of each and we're going to break them down you know what the scaling is and everything like that and sort of compare them and see what you know what they may be once we finally get them in hand I'm super excited for them I cannot wait for them um, definitely the most anticipated thing coming this year as far as action figures are concerned I don't think I can think of anything else that is even close maybe the fiend elite that's eventually coming to us but today we are going to break them down guys so let's go ahead and get into it this is the wwe mattel elite figures up next to the aew unrivaled figures and we're just going to run through you know sort of the info on both of these guys so right off the bat guys let's go ahead and start off with the scaling now i do have some images that i do not think i've plugged in a video just yet but we are going to bring it up right here and you guys can see that we do have i cannot remember his name let me go ahead and plug it in right quick so I do want to give a huge shout out to my man Joe Vasquez over on Facebook. He did, uh, took this photo. You know, he went to New York Toy Fair. I think the only figure that he had on him was a Hurricane figure. So he put them up next to the Cody figure and then the Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson in the back, guys. And you can kind of see what the scaling's going on with them. And they do look in scale. You know, they look pretty much perfect scale. I would say, you know, it, it's about as close as you could possibly get. And I'm excited for these. I think that, you know, the scaling is pretty much spot on. I think that Cody may be an inch taller and it kind of looks like he may be an inch taller like maybe a little bit over an inch taller here if you did the you know comparison like as if they were you know standing right beside each other they look damn close now this is what is good about him you know we don't have to worry about the jack scale compared to Mattel we don't have to worry about the AEW figures just towering over the Mattel figures and we don't have to worry about that vice versa I think that we've covered that you know magic who is one of the lead designers on the AEW Unrivaled collection talked about how he used to work at Mattel, and I think that he brought that knowledge to AEW or Wicked Cool Toys when he moved over, and uh, so that way, you know, these figures are going to definitely be in scale, which we're really excited about. I think that looks epic, so huge shout out to Joe for this photo. I think, you know, it's it's pretty much spot on. I don't think you can get any more spot on than it is, and I guess we won't ultimately know until we have them in hand, but this is a great photo that, you know, can confirm it. Again, I don't think I've showed this on the channel just yet, so I am happy to bring this comparison image to you guys right here for you guys to check out yourselves. Next up, guys, we are going to be talking about both sets of figures, including True Effects technology. Now, the only thing that I can say, you know, all these prototypes that we saw at New York Toy Fair at uh, at the little AEW showcase, you know, on Dynamite when they showed off these figures and we had the little images. I don't think any of these figures that we saw on that had the uh, True Effects technology. They didn't have the little photo technology or image realism or whatever the hell you want to call that. They did not have any of that. The only figure that we really know that has it is the AEW ringside exclusive Chris Jericho little bit of the bubbly figure uh, excuse me little bit of the bubbly so the AEW Chris Jericho little bit of the bubbly ringside exclusive figure I think is the only figure that has the true effects technology that we've seen thus far now that does not mean that all the rest of them won't have true effects because I think the rest of them are going to have true effects and they're going to look a lot more like the guys once uh, you know they are released now this Chris Jericho figure looks like it is the final product I feel like all the other figures that we've seen of Cody and Brandy and Kenny and the Bucks and all of those that we saw at New York Toy Fair. I feel like all of those are going to be prototypes, and so they are not officially done. You can also see on the ringside exclusive, they don't have the little shoulder holes, the little peg holes in the shoulders, and I think one of the lead designers did say that um, the, the peg holes are actually supposed to be on the figure, so I don't know if, uh, you know, this Chris Jericho just didn't have them made, or maybe, I, I don't know what the little thing is. I think it was more than likely they were going to include those little peg holes in the shoulders, so I'm not sure what we got with this ringside exclusive Chris Jericho, but I think compared to Mattel, these AEW figures are going to have the True Effects technology, which is excellent because you guys know that Mattel knocks it out of the park with the True Effects. So the uh, AEW bringing that same technology or very similar technology onto their figures is going to make them stand right in with your Mattel collections and they should blend right in. So that is absolutely epic and that is a very good thing for us. Now the next thing I want to talk about as far as similarities, guys, and I think this is sort of where the similarities sort of end. So we have the scaling, we have the True Effects, and now we're going to talk about sort 
sort of the price point and where you can get them. Now, obviously, the, they are up on pre-order right now. Series 1 of the Unrivaled AEW Collection is up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles where they sell all of your great wrestling action figures. They don't discriminate. They carry WWE, AEW, all kinds of tons of wrestling action figures you can get over at Ringside Collectibles. Doesn't matter the company. Doesn't matter the brand or who they're, you know, creating. Ringside Collectibles is where you get all your wrestling figures, and uh, they are definitely carrying these figures, and they're up for pre-order. You can go use promo code MD Toys to save 10% and pre-order this set. But not only do they uh, are they going to be carried at ringside, they are supposedly going to be available at Walmart, just like WWE Elite action figures. Now, this was reported by PW Insider, and this is a very big deal because getting in that space is very huge, especially for a toy line. Now, Walmart is going to be an excellent source for them. I think they're going to sell out very easily, and I think that uh, eventually, I should say, uh, they, these guys are going to be, you know, expanding. I think they will find themselves at Target someday, unless they have like an exclusive deal or whatever. Maybe Walmart's going to sponsor with them. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I could definitely see them at Target as well. Now, uh, for right now, we only have them at Walmart and Ringside Collectibles, and I guess it remains to be seen if they're going to be picked up anywhere else. But I don't see these things sitting on the shelves because people who are excited about this line are going to buy them. Now, if they come to my area, they're going to be bought by me. I'll tell you that. I will definitely buy these. So my area definitely doesn't have to worry. I will buy every single one that they put out on the shelf so I don't have to worry about that and if uh, Northport and Tuscaloosa Walmarts want to go ahead and purchase these things and put them up, that's fine with me. So hopefully my Walmarts get them. Hopefully it's like a big deal where every Walmart gets them so they're widely available to everybody, which they should. Hopefully the distribution is a little bit better than Mattel when it comes to that, but uh, we will have to see about that. Now that is pretty much everything that we've talked about as far as similarities. I think There's probably some other similarities, but these are the main ones that I could think of off the top of my head. I tried my best to write them all down, but there it is for similarities. Now what we're talking about with differences now, the biggest difference that I think is between the AEW Unrivaled figures and Mattel WWE Elite figures is that the articulation is vastly different. Now, I say vastly different, but I feel like vastly is a good word because double-jointed arms compared to single-jointed arms is pretty significantly different. Now, if you look at a single-jointed arm for Mattel and you try to bend it up, it's obvious that, uh, you know, it's not horrendous, horrendous. Like, I've seen some figures that are single-jointed arms and they're god-awful. Like, they can't even do anything. Now, I think it kind of varies with the Mattel WWE figures. I feel like sometimes they have pretty good articulation. They can stretch up to the back of their neck, the, you know, the top of their head. Um, they can grab their face most of the time. They can bend down and stuff like that. But as far as double-jointed arms, I don't think that that can be touched. Now, the AEW figures are fantastic in that regard. The only way we get double-jointed arms with Mattel figures are the Ultimate Editions, where they kind of charge you 10 bucks more or 15 bucks more. I think it's 10 bucks more. I think they resell for 30 which isn't terrible when you include the interchangeable heads and the double-jointed arms, and then you have the accessories and stuff like that. So that is, you know, the price point does, you know, sell on that. But I've been saying for years how I wish Mattel WWE Elite figures did have the double jointed arms. And I don't know if this will continue just in the Ultimate Edition or maybe the Ultimate Edition will just remain with the torso and maybe, you know, Mattel Elites will start doing double jointed arms. I guess we'll, you know, just see about that. We know that they can do it. So maybe they'll just transfer that over to Elites or they'll just keep it the same. I guess we'll have to see about that. Now, referring to the Ultimate Editions from WWE Mattel figures, guys, uh, obviously, the torsos between the AEW figures and the Ultimate Editions are very, very similar if you look at them side by side. Now, I think that the AEW ones are going to be a little bit more loose in the hips. I don't think it's just going to be a waist joint. I think you're actually going to be able to, like, diaphragm pivot that hoe where you'll be able to, like, uh, go side to side with it, which I think we've seen with the Young Bucks figures or something like that in one of those little vignettes of the figures. They can, like, turn all the way to the side. I, I don't think I have a... Let me go ahead and grab this Finn Balor. So, I have the Ultimate Ultimate Edition Finn Balor in my hand, and the only part that does the diaphragm like pivot it is the upper portion, which is really good, but they don't have the waist part where it dips in. I think the AEW portion does do that. I'm not exactly sure, but I can't, I, I feel like I remember seeing where the lower part, not only the upper part of the torso, but the lower part of the torso will do the little diaphragm pivot thing, so that is a big deal as well. And we obviously know that the Ultimate Edition does have the toe articulation, so that's a pretty big thing as well. And both of them do have a uh, double jointed knees which is excellent so I'm just excited for new articulation I actually am going to see if we can like mix and match parts I think that's going to be excellent if we can mix and match arms or torsos or whatever if you want to switch out articulation you prefer a certain articulation over another articulation maybe you could do a torso swap or something onto an AEW figure I guess that remains to be seen until we get it in hand but uh I think that'd be pretty cool and then another thing about the articulation is the women's articulation who have double jointed arms and knees obviously it took a while before WWE 
Mattel women's figures had the double jointed knees. So it's nice to see that, you know, Brandy is going to come with double jointed arms and knees, which is super duper dope. And hopefully, you know, they're just as good as the men's figures when we have them up next to each other. And I think the other last difference that I really have, guys, is the packaging. Now, the packaging, obviously, it, it reminds me a lot of like Jack's packaging is what the AEW Unrivaled Collection really reminds me of. It really, really reminds me of like the TNA Deluxe or the WWE um, deluxe or like the certain pay-per-view packaging for the Jax figures, but it really reminds me of the TNA figures. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the shape of that box, but I really enjoy it. I think they look great. Um, I think Mattel's WWE packaging is pretty good for the most part. I think that, you know, the exclusives is where they really get dope. I really like the uh, different exclusive packaging that we've seen in the past with different guys, especially like Kane and like uh, the Hardy Boys and stuff like that that we've seen in the past are really sick. I think that, you know, for mock collectors especially, I'm not a mock collector, but I do appreciate a good damn packaging, Brad. So uh, I'll say that for sure. And I could not think of anything else as far as differences. You know, we've seen the scaling. We've seen the articulation and stuff. I guess the only thing that we'll know is when we get them in hand, we're going to definitely do a video where we break down both of them side by side and we do the articulation how good the ab crunch is, how good the double jointed knee is, how good the double jointed arm is, you know, posing them around and stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, that's going to be an epic day, man. When we finally get those AEW figures in hand, we're going to shit ourselves. I can already tell, and I'm excited for it, man. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to run down a comparison between the WWE Elite figures and the AEW Unrivaled Collection, which are coming very, very soon. So definitely go pre-order them over at Ringside Collectibles. And I think I'm shooting for Hell's Gate going to be up next Saturday, guys. I really wanted to to be up next Saturday, and uh, I think that is the date that I'm going with. I think it's like March, is it March 13th or 14th? Whatever next Saturday is, not this Saturday, not tomorrow, but next Saturday, a week from tomorrow, is the date. I'm going with it. I don't give a shit. Obviously, we've ran into a ton of hurdles, but you know what? I'm going to use this as extra motivation to push on, and uh, you guys are going to freaking love the show. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.